Yeah, the life has changed. Tonight, we want you to meet the only junior wheelchair basketball team in the Beehive State. They're called the Utah Rush. Fox 13 News reporter Mythili Gooby spun with the team on the court today and introduces us to the team. On a basketball court. Wait, we're with Jackson? Using wheels to fly. I absolutely loved it. It's like one of my favorite things to do in the world. And it's nothing but net. Players on the Utah Rush basketball man, team man, man. play the sport a little differently. Jackson is 16 years old got him, I got him, I got him. and has been playing with the team since last July. So it's way more physical and it's like there's just a lot more aggression than you'd think and it's, it's so much fun. The team with 13 to 18 year olds Switch. is recognized by the National Federation. Switch, slide, slide. And is the only junior wheelchair basketball team here in the state. There's always this stigmatism of playing a sport in a chair. You know, when I say wheelchair basketball, there's just, oh, what's that? Oh, come on, it can't be that real. Is it, is it really competitive? And really, it's no different than an athlete, like a football player putting on a helmet, wearing shoulder pads, you know, wearing cleats or whatever. It's, it's a gear. It's just part of the sport. Roughly. Yeah, I'll leave right here. Adam Lindsay has been coaching for about 13 years now. See, see what I'm saying? So you got to stay. And it all started when his son had an injury and couldn't play abled body sports anymore. Wheelchair basketball is, is awesome. But two, it's, it's really a tool for a lot, and especially at the kid level, when we, it's to teach independence. He says the kids move on from this court to bigger hoops. We've had four of our players over the last 13 years go play at the uh, Paralympic level. We've had, oh, I would say anywhere from 10 to 15 players go play, play collegiate ball and on scholarship money. And families come out to practices championing their kids. Just hard work and perseverance in life in general, I mean, gives you something to strive for. Gavin has big dreams of playing wheelchair basketball in college. I tried to play in a wheelchair with these kids and it's hard to keep up. When you come watch it, you'll be addicted to it. I think it's way better than able body basketball and it's very, it's a lot of contact, it's fast and it's pretty intense. Come on, Riley. A community on and off the court. Mace is out, Mace is out. My favorite part about like the people is that we all have like we all have disabilities per se, I guess. And so you can like relate to people like Michelle, my teammate, she also is missing a leg, and that's really cool to like talk to her about her experience in that kind of thing. The team is preparing for the Western Conference Championships on February 11th and 12th at Weaver State. And this team is one to watch out for. In Sandy, I'm Mike Legal B. Fox 13 News, Utah.